Hello YouTube, this is Living History 66 back with another video and today I'm going to be going over my recent additions to my World War II collection. Uh, I'm going to get things started off right here with a brief disclosure. I do not support Nazi Party or anything like that. This is strictly for uh, just the history on the objects and the uh, research behind it. Right here, I have a nice little one page German newspaper, uh, unknown what year exactly. I'm sure if I start translating some of this stuff, I could probably figure it out, but it does say 17th of March on there, so I'll probably look up the year just based off of that. Uh, so it does have a front and a back. But pretty cool. I got this off of uh, the bidding site that I'm in. I got that for about, I think, four bucks plus shipping. So, But I want to get it a floating frame so you can read both sides. But until then, uh, that is going to stay folded up. And right here, also off the bidding site, this is a very, very special item. Now... This, after a lot of squinting and a lot of research, I found this to be, from the best of my knowledge, is an M35 Luftwaffe double decal Stahlhelm. So you can see the insignia for the Luftwaffe right here. There's the wing of the eagle. There's the body. It would be holding the swastika, but clearly it is in relic condition. As you can see... The uh, split right here on the edge of the uh, on the rim. There is a piece missing from rust and corrosion or erosion and a uh, big crack here on the side. But it is a double decal because if we flip it over to the right hand side, you will see a little bit of red paint right here, and there's a little bit above it right in here. So those two little spots. And there's a white area, an area of white paint. I don't know if you can see it in here. It took me a while to, to actually see it. But there's a little shield-shaped emblem. Uh, it is a black spot, white stripe, and a red spot. Uh, I forget exactly what it stands for. I believe it has something to do with the army. Um, I could be wrong on that, though. Uh, but there's that decal and the Luftwaffe decal on the other side. So, a very cool piece of history right here. This is my first German helmet as well, so... Um, both of these, actually, were dug up from battlefields in Germany. I won this on a bidding site, and um, on Facebook, actually, and once the guy messaged me uh, for information on shipping and everything, he also told me that he has more helmets. Uh, I guess he has like a dozen or so battlefield dug helmets so this one right here is an army helmet uh, for the german army there's the eagle holding the swastika right there uh, this is an m40 from what i can tell okay still a lot of you know a decent amount of paint on here too the original paint uh, from the inside, though, you can tell that it has damage to it. And this is original battlefield damage. Um, down here on the skirt of the helmet, you have a, there's a dent right there. Two shrapnel or bullet entry points. And then on the back top of the helmet, you can see, um, that there is a... Uh, bullet entry point right here and you can see right through to where it exits so pretty crazy right here is the exit point where all this steel is pulled right back so this was just a breathtaking piece to hold and let alone to actually you know have the opportunity to buy it and have it so there's another small indentation right there, and a big one here up on the top. So 
Uh, unknown on the backstory of it, the only thing that I got was that both of these helmets were dug up in Germany. The uh, guy who bought all of these bought them off of a guy who does a lot of metal detecting, I guess, in Germany. So, at least I know the country of origin. And it still has the bales for the chin strap and the uh, metal ring. I don't know what exactly you want to call this piece. But it's not in the greatest shape, but it's still attached. So, very cool. It's not like loose or falling off or anything like that. So, this was the one in probably the best condition that I could find out of the pictures that he sent. But, all original. Battlefield Doug from Germany. Very cool. So happy to have those, especially as my first German helmets. You know, to have the authenticity behind them. Uh, really just helped back that up. It was huge. I'm going to go over this beautiful piece right here in a second. It just came in today. But I also just got this in the mail the other day. This is a very nice... It's a 3x5 48 star American flag. And it's a little dirty. A little sun bleached. And right here, it's got a couple holes in the side, a couple tears, but I mean it fits right in with everything else in my collection. All beat up old dirty stuff, it looks like it's been through hell. So, this was an awesome, well, I got a actually really good deal for this, I think I got this for like 30 bucks with shipping. But also my first 48 star American flag too, so... Happy to add that. Now, I just opened this up. What we have here is a beautiful World War II fighting knife. And this is a theater-made sheath for it. Leather is still nice and soft on here. You have a belt loop. At least from what I was told, this is a theater-made sheath. Is this certainly is not the uh, standard issue. <clears throat> but, if we take this out, very awesome. This is a lot bigger than the pictures that <laughs> made it look. I mean, when I opened up the box, I was like, wow, this is, there was miles of bubble wrap around it. And, uh, yeah, that's why, because this thing is way bigger than my hand, and I got a decent sized hand. Uh, but this is a Camillus. And the reason I was, I was specifically looking for a Camillus blade, and the reason was, I used to live right across the street from the Camillus cutlery here in New York. So, an awesome little bit of local history. Used to live there, and I was actually on standby with my volunteer fire department the day that the uh, Camillus Cutlery burned down a couple years ago. So, I made it a point. This was a bucket list item for me, for sure. And uh, I'm happy I got a decent deal on it. Quick shipping. Can't complain with it. So, I'm super happy to have this. This is probably going to be one of my favorite pieces. So, definitely happy to add these to the collection. Uh, I've also been adding a whole ton of patches. Um, I now I'm only missing one armored division. Uh, one infantry division still. I have all my army corps set together and all of those are in shadow boxes. And uh, I'm actually working on a <clears throat> military man cave, if you will, uh, at the moment. And uh, we will be moving, actually, to a bigger apartment here in a couple months so I'm excited to have my own space so I can actually put everything out and uh, you know have it all displayed really nice so definitely excited about that but I want to thank you guys again for watching subscribing commenting everything like that I love to hear from you guys and what you're collecting but uh, in the meantime I want you all to stay safe and we'll see you in the next video